morning tomorrow. Maybe a little drizzle, but uh, it can't be that dreary. It is Christmas after all. Here on our Christmas Eve day, we've had our share of clouds. They've been around here in and out through the day. But as we fell into the nighttime, notice the temperature has not moved a whole lot. That's because of the cloud cover. Teamed along with, of course, a south wind that's been rather brisk here across the evening. But temperatures right now in Denton at 50 degrees. Meanwhile, it's almost 60 at Love Field, Fort Worth 55, McKinney 53. Okay, the next three days, look at the rain chances. Not so much overnight, not so much tomorrow. But Wednesday, Wednesday night, yeah, 80, 90 percent chance of rain. Now, satellite radar review, all you see really is some of this cloud cover. It's hard to make out, but it's been building up, especially in our eastern counties. But that's easy to see. That's a swirl in the atmosphere, low pressure system that is just now into Northern California, and all the rain with it. Much needed rain, by the way. But all this is going to bring some big snows up into the Sierras. But that storm hits here on Wednesday. Now, Christmas Day tomorrow, temperatures. Are Going to start mild. We will be in the 50s. I do put rain in the forecast, but that's 10% chance for a little drizzle across the morning. So it's not going to get in the way too much, the weather tomorrow. In fact, it's going to be mild. And with a 20% chance of rain that picks up a little bit at the close of the day, you'll have plenty of times uh, to be able to get outside and enjoy your Christmas day with these mild temperatures. This is at 7 o'clock tomorrow. And notice these. Areas of potential rain. They start to pick up in coverage through the overnight hours. And as we get into Wednesday, the rain chances really do start to pick up. Good rain chances on Wednesday. That's the noon hour. That's four o'clock. I've circled the area where we might even see some strong thunderstorms developing in the daytime afternoon. These strong thunderstorms will be scattered about, but then a line is going to form along an approaching front. This is at 10 o'clock on Wednesday. So we're talking about the evening hours. The squall line starts to develop and rolls right into the Metroplex. So this is going to be a late night, maybe even overnight event for some of us as it rolls off to the east rather quickly by Thursday mornings out of the way. But that severe weather risk, 3 p.m. through Thursday, 2 a.m. for pretty much all are southwest, but the metroplex and areas to the south, that severe weather risk really starts much later. Not much of a risk up to the northern counties, but there is a slight chance, at least, of severe weather. And what kind of weather? I think damaging winds are the biggest risk here. Large hail, even a small tornado threat across our southern counties. That's south of the metroplex, but it is going to be a big rain. We haven't had a one inch rain in almost two months now at the airport. It looks like one's due in here on Wednesday. But Christmas Day in the 60s, Wednesdays in the 60s with the rain and thunderstorms Wednesday night into Thursday over and early morning hours. Then it clears out. And by the time we get to the weekend, Ken, we're a reminder we are in winter. Highs only in the 40s. Yeah, we're going to feel that one.